Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to another completely random look. Today we are looking at delay, I think. Uh, it's D-I-L-A-Y. I'm going to go with calling that delay. It might be delay. That's actually close enough. So we're going to call it delay. Uh, but anyways, it is a free open source 3D sculpting application. Now, if you've used ZBrush, if you've used Sculptress, if you've used 3D Paint or, sorry, 3D Coat or... Uh, Mudbox, you got a pretty good idea what we're about to get into. Uh, but the key here is uh, all of those are commercial except for Sculptress, and Sculptress hasn't been updated in years. So it's nice to see another person coming along and trying to create a good solid 3D modeler. Uh, at the same time, it is also available on GitHub, uh, C++ code, so if you want to get in there and contribute, you can. Uh, delay is available at abau.org forward slash delay, um, again, D-I-L-A-Y, and uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's completely free. It's a small download. Um, it's a little buggy at times, but for the most part, fairly stable as long as you run it on a good GPU. I ran it on my integrated Intel, and uh, switching to wireframe mode, for example, caused it to go... <laughs> um, and the interface is a little quirky at times, but it's not bad. Uh, and here it is. Uh, if you've worked with any of those programs I mentioned earlier, this should be immediately obvious. But what you do is pretty much sculpt with virtual clay. So you start off here with this um, typical sphere object, and you just kind of use virtual tools to bend, mesh, mold, whatever it into the shape you want. Now, if you look down here, you see the simple controls for um, moving the camera around. Uh, middle mouse button rotates the camera, shift middle, uh, drags the camera, and control middle centers the camera, or sets the gaze point, as they call it. Um, and your tools are over here. Uh, your tools are pretty straightforward. Your top ones are create a new mesh, delete the mesh, or move the mesh. I'm not really sure what move mesh is or the importance behind it, uh, but the rest of these kind of come in through their own. So carve, for example, see right here this line down the middle? Uh, that is the mirror point. So by default, um, you mirror objects, so any manipulations you do on one side will be done on the other. Uh, you've got your radius here, which can also be controlled by holding down shift and changing the, uh, the scroll wheel, like so. And you can see the circle. That's the influence. That's the, uh, the weight of this particular tool. And intensity is the strength of the tool. Uh, so what we can do now is go ahead and draw. And what you see is it is sculpting out the shape as we use it. Pretty cool stuff, works pretty intuitively. Now if you want to do the opposite, you can come down here and click invert, or you can hit shift and left arrow, and what this does basically is the exact opposite of the tool, so it pushes in instead. So as you can see, is we're now sculpting the shape in as opposed to pulling it out. And those tools are pretty much self-explanatory. You've got, was a, the difference between um, carve and grab can be a little unintuitive. One basically creates geometry, the other one doesn't. And I'll turn on the wireframe so you can see the end result. So here we'll go ahead. Oh, you can turn on the wireframe by hitting W or up here in view. You can toggle it here as you can with the shading. You can turn uh, smooth shading on and off with shift and W. Um, so it's a very streamlined program. It's quite simple to learn. You should be able to learn this in all of about two minutes if I'm honest about it. Um, so crease now does more of a pull out with a sharp edge like so. So that is a crease in effect. Here is a grab. So what grab is doing is sort of the same thing as carve, except for carve creates, n oh, I thought carve created new geography. Grab. Oh, it's just pulling it a bit more. So it's more for positioning and shaping. And then once again, shift invert pushes instead of pulls. Uh, you got, oh, sorry, it's drag that's confusing. So drag in effect, like so. Uh, you've got flatten, which does exactly what it sounds like. It smooths the surface down. Uh, you've got smooth, which literally smooths things out, not necessarily up or down, but creates, takes away rough edges like so. So you can see nice smooth edges as a result. Pinch pulls the uh, geometry in towards the point. And then reduce. Now reduce is a magical thing. Reduce is very cool actually. So what reduce does, is reduces the amount of geography, um, geometry being used at a particular point. Now this of course is going to cover at the cost of fidelity, but you see how we got a lot in this particular area right here. And as we do more and more, we're actually going to generate uh, more and more. So let's see so there. Crease, we got, we got a lot of detail added by that creasing. So now I'm going to come on back here and reduce it. Just click and there you see it, it really fast takes down the polygons and it does a pretty solid job of it. 
And that's about it. Uh, really, that is honestly the application in its extent. You can only export it into its own format or as a Wavefront object. Now, Wavefront is OBJ, and OBJ is supported by every single 3D application worth its salt. So come on up here, we will save this to an OBJ file like so. And let me just fire up Blender so you can see the end result in another application. So file, import, Wavefront object, Let's go into edit mode quickly and set that to smooth. Have it edit mode. And there you go. So there to there. So it goes out pretty transparent. So you use this guy for quickly modeling things and you bring it into whatever tool for finishing. Now that is essentially it. That's it for sculpting. Now there's one other aspect and it's sketching. And sketching, the interface gets a little wonky on this to get it to work. Now first things first, we need to get rid of whatever is in the current sculpt. Uh, so for example, you come in, go delete mesh and then left click it and it's gone. And I don't know why they do that because you can only have one mesh open. So I don't know why delete mesh doesn't just delete the mesh to be honest. But anyways, you get rid of your mesh and then you head on over to new mesh. And here we go. We got a brand new shape to work with. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Delete, go away. I want to go over to Sculpt and go New Sketch. And this is a straight rip off of something called Z-Spheres. And think of this as your initial clay modeling where you're putting the clay together. And then you'll go and sculpt it later. So we're gonna create our simple shape. So let's say we wanted to make an arm today. Here is our starting sphere. And we can go ahead and um, sketch it like so. And we'll just This might be some of the bugginess, or this might be, actually, we're in the process of crashing. All right, so let's delete this, create a new one. Well, hopefully this will just work. So sketch spheres. Make sure this thing is turned on. All right, I'm gonna start from scratch, because this guy bongs out every once in a while. So let's just go ahead and all right, delete the mesh, gone. Sketch, new sketch. All right, sketch spheres. Now I should be able to just draw spheres out of it, like so. So I have mirroring turned on. So as I do things in the one direction, it's being mirrored on the opposite. You can turn that off right here. And you're basically just quickly using spheres to draw your shape I'm trying not to make this accidentally phallic. And just basically take, quickly create whatever shape it is you're going for. Whatever this is, I have no idea. But once you've sculpted something you like the look of, and you see it's nice and quick. And then when you're done, just go ahead, convert the sketch and click it like so. And now we have a sculptable mesh. So now we switch back to our sculpt mode and there it is. So now we can edit, we could quickly come in and smooth some things out, some of those rougher corners, that edge for example. Uh, we could come over here and grab that, drag that out a little bit more, drag that out as well. Let's get rid of that corner, so let's come in here and flatten this guy down a bit. Like so, and etc. Really that's kind of the extent of the program. Um, on the one hand, you sketch uh, the, the raw clay that you're going to work with initially, and then you come into the sculpt and use the various tools to turn it into whatever you need it to be. And then when you are finally done, you export it as an OBJ, and you're complete. Uh, so that is essentially delay. We'll, go with, we'll call it delay. Um, a free, open source, quite powerful, slightly buggy um, sculpting tool that hopefully has a long and illustrious future ahead of it. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.